Oh, what on earth? Rebecca. Rebecca! What? What? You fainted. Why, I... I did? What is up with the flashlight? <gasps> oh, my God. Julian. Eve, what's wrong with you? How could you do what you did to Julian's penis? You will never be my butcher. What? My poor Pookie, you have mutilated his member. Rebecca, I didn't cut it off. I reattached it. Oh, please, all the king's horses and all the king's men could have done a much better job of putting Julian back together again. You're not making any sense. Look, I, I don't know. Whatever it is you attach to Julian is not his penis. Well, of course it's his. Who else would it be? Well, I don't know. I mean, they have organ banks for everything nowadays. All I know is that he has some other man's member now between his legs. Rebecca, that's impossible. Would you just take a look? I mean, I happen to be intimately familiar with Julian's winky, and that is not it. With all due respect, Rebecca, I have spent many more years with little Julian than you have, and I'm telling you that what I reattached to Julian is what he had in the first place. Was not. Was too. Was not. You know what, Rebecca? You've just been with so many men since Julian that you've just mistaken his for someone else's. Eve, would you just take a look? Take a long, hard look. <sighs> what? What? Well, what the hell is that? I told you. <laughs> what have you done to my Julian? How could this be? That is not Pookie's penis. I mean, for starters, it's it's much too small. I mean, let's face it, Julian was huge, and all, all that arouses in me is pity. Oh, but, but I, I mean, I remember that I, I took off a, a little bit just so that the reattachment would be smooth. You took off a little? You took off a lot more than a little. You took off more than most men have to start with. Oh, God. I was under a lot of pressure. Oh, oh, well then is that why you sewed it on upside down? What? No. No, 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 it's just, it's just off to the side. No, 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 that is off to the side. That, that uh, is upside down. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, could you be right? Yeah, of course I'm right. Look, I'm not a doctor. But I am certainly an expert at this. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry, Rebecca. ER is short-staffed, and they're paging me to fill in. But, but I'm not finished with you yet. I, 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 we'll talk about it later, Rebecca. I gotta but, go. No, no, Eve, wait! Come back! Don't you have to take it off and reattach it before it fuses together like that? Oh, oh. Hey, so I understand pretty fainted earlier. Uh, that's right. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to examine her and, and see if I can find out why. Are, uh, are you back on staff, Eve? The hospital called me in to reattach Julian's penis. Oh, man. And then uh, they asked me if I could... Uh, Stay on, because they're short-staffed in the ER. You sure you should be working right now? Look a little beat. No. Just, you know, tired after Julian's surgery. <laughs> That's all. Uh, how was Father's surgery? Will he be okay? Oh, I hope so. You know, it's, it's too soon to say. You know, there's a lot of... Vascular and nerve issues that come into play, and there's always a chance that the base of Julian's penis will reject the reattached portion. Oh man. So we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah. Well, uh, when do you think that Julian's going to be available for questioning? Oh, uh, well, he's. He's still out under anesthesia. Yeah. Sam and I were just uh, hoping that he'd be able to ID 
person who attacked him. Yeah, I know. It's just... It's frightening knowing there's just a butcher on the loose. Well, your vitals are all within normal range. I mean, have you had anything to eat today? Mm, yes, but my stomach's felt kind of queasy. Did you feel dizzy before you, uh, fainted? Not really dizzy, just more kind of odd. I don't know, I just wrote it off to being upset about Father's attack. Nurse, could you take this to the lab and, and have him put a rush on it? Yes, doctor. This is a lot of money, Miss Crane. It's only half of what you'll get if you do what I asked you to. Uh, so do you think I'll be all right? Uh, well, I, I don't think it's anything serious. You may just have the flu. We'll find out more once we get your blood test back. I need to practice looking surprised. Uh, Luis. Hmm. Pretty is, is asking for you. All right, well, let's all go see her then. Oh, no. It, it, can you go alone? Because I don't think she's in any position to have more than one visitor. It's okay. I'll see her after you do. Oh, if you excuse me, I'm going to go see if anyone needs my help. So, um, I'm just gonna check Pretty's vitals again, make sure she's still within normal range. Okay, um, uh, Louise is still in there with her. I'm gonna go get us all some coffee. Will you let Louise know where I am? Oh, of course. Thank you. Oh, is my blood work back, Dr. Russell? Uh, no, but it should be back in just a minute, so... How are you feeling? Um... A little tense about why I fainted and a little weak, maybe. <sighs> Dr. Russell, oh. I have Miss Crane's blood work results. Oh, thank you, nurse. Okay. Oh, my God. What, what is it, Dr. Russell? What's wrong with her? 